Hi, my name is Andrew with Razorback Off-Road, and today we're excited to introduce one of our new rear sliding window products for the 2021 to current Polaris Razor Trail and Trail S machines. And today I'm gonna to be doing a video on how to install our product onto your vehicle. So I'm gonna kinda of go over some of the components that come with your product. Um, you're gonna have all the hardware that you need to install and there's no drilling. It's very simple to install. And I'll go over some of the tools that you'll need in order to do that. So what you'll need is a 3 8 box wrench, a 7 16 box wrench. You're gonna need a 3 8 socket and some driver of some kind. Um, I'm going to be using this by hand, this hand driver, but you can use an impact, but I just um, will give you a little bit of caution with using it. Okay, so to begin the install, we're going to go ahead and install our lower Z, Z brackets. And so to begin, you're going to need the 3 8 socket and you're going to need the 7 16 box wrench. And we'll just install on one side and then we'll do the other one after that. So you're gonna need one of the bolts, you're gonna need a washer and one of the nylocks. So before I go in installing this bracket, um, if you'll notice this bracket has a slotted side and just a single hole on one of the tabs. And if you do have shoulder harnesses, you can drill out this hole and match the hole that's on the machine on this bracket here. And, and then it can be compatible with your shoulder harnesses. Um, so on this step, when you go to install this bracket, you're gonna want the, the hole on top and you're gonna want the slotted side down. And you're gonna put this bracket on the backside towards the cab and you're gonna use the bolt and you're gonna come in from the backside, okay? And you're gonna use the washer here, and you're gonna use the nylock. And I'm just going to hand tighten this for now. And when you tighten it, don't go all the way, just go part of the way because we may need to make some adjustments to the lower panel before we fully tighten it down. And that way we can get everything aligned properly before we finish the install. Okay, I'm gonna have it slightly tightened. And once you're done with this, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So I'll go ahead and do that. So now that you've finished installing both of these lower, lower brackets, we're now gonna move to the lower panel and we're gonna go install that next. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to just grab it now. And I like to come in from the side and then just slowly put it in place. Okay. And you're just gonna match the angle of the lower brackets that you just previously installed. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna grab two of these and two of these. Okay, and your tools, same tools. And kind of the same thing, we're gonna tighten it by hand at first. And then in a later step, we'll tighten it all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna put the bolt in there and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay. And now I'm just going to tighten it, but not all the way down. Just enough to kind of hold it in place. And I'm gonna do this side. And the reason why I'm tightening this is that it, it's got the nylon lock on the nut and you can't really get it that tight with your fingers. It's hard to do that. So I like to kind of break the nylock and get it kind of close. And so now that you have the lower panel in place, we're now gonna move on to the glass panel. And I wanted to explain a couple of the components. So you're gonna get the 
these roll bar brackets. And what these will do is these will actually clamp onto the bar right here and the glass panel will be held on with these brackets right on the back here. So I just wanted to kind of show you where these will end up once we're done or once we begin the installation. So what I like to do first, okay, for this is I'll put this into place. This rear glass panel is compatible with the stock roof. If you notice, I have the stock roof from Polaris on the vehicle right now. And we have the cutouts here and it'll be fully compatible with the stock roof. We also sell a roof with Razorback Off-Road that is also compatible with this window as well. So you'll take your glass panel and I like to come in from the side here and just carefully slide it in to place. Right. And you're gonna just gently put it up against the roll cage here. So once you kind of have that in place, it'll pretty it'll it'll hold itself pretty well. It shouldn't fall out or anything like that. So once you kind of have it in place, you you can relax a little bit. And now we're going to take those roll cage brackets that I was talking about before and we're going to grab we'll do one at a time. We're going to grab one of these and we're going to grab one of these. All right. And as I showed before, we're going to install it onto the roll cage. We're going to put it through. And I'm going to get it slightly started. We don't want to tighten it down all the way because we're going to need to move the panel up once we have the other, other bolts in place. So once I have this in here, you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And then we're going to come back in the, in the next step and then put in, there's three bolts that go on this lower panel down here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now that you have the roll cage brackets in place, we're going to now move on to installing the bolts in the lower three holes on the glass panel. And that's how it ties the lower panel and, and this upper panel together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And for that, you're gonna need three of the, the bolts and then three of the nylocks. Okay. And I will start on this end, just one at a time. And you're gonna Feed this through and you might need to look inside of here and find that slot and just hand tighten everything for now. So just get all of these bolts into place. You might need to raise the upper panel a little bit to get it in there. So now that you have all the hardware in place, um, I'll kind of explain this part. It's a little bit tricky. Um, but it'd be great if you had uh, some help or a partner of some kind to what we're trying to do is get this panel to lift up. So you're going to want to have somebody hold it up. I mean, it is a little bit difficult by yourself, but it's possible. But you want to hold up the window and then what you're trying to do is seal the top on the roll cage up here and then also along the top of the roll bar right here. So when you're going through and tightening these bottom bolts, you're going to want to be lifting and then snugging these down. Um, but be and then before you do that, this is kind of your last chance to be able to make sure that everything is centered. So I like to kind of look, step back, look at the lower panel and the upper panel, and just make sure they're centered on the machine. So you can, before you tighten it down, you can just make sure that all the components are centered as best as they can on the machine. All right. And so we're going to go ahead and start with this side. So I'm going to lift up on the panel and just go ahead and tighten her up best as I can. All right. Once that's held in place, I'm going to then 
tighten the other side because we're gonna wanna lift the other side and then we'll tighten the middle last. So once you have all of those bolts tightened down, we're now gonna move on to the roll cage brackets. And you might need to slightly adjust this a little bit. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and tighten this all the way down. Okay. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now that you have those brackets tightened down, um, we gotta remember that we left the lower panel loose. So now we're gonna go ahead and tighten all of those bolts that we installed before onto the roll cage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now that I've finished tightening this, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now that I've finished tightening the lower bracket, um, we're gonna move into the final step, which is we're gonna be putting on the, the panel caps that go on each end of the windshield. And I'll kind of go into a brief explanation of these. So there is a right-hand side and a left-hand side. And how you can tell is you want the, the rubber gasket here to be on the tubing side and then you want the bent flange right here on the outside. So this side would be the driver's side, which would go on like this. And this would be the passenger side. So we're gonna start with the driver's side and you're gonna take the remaining, one of the remaining hardware. And this time you're gonna grab the 3 8 you grab the 3 8 box wrench and the 7 16 box wrench. And you're going to slide it in here like this. And it's gonna go right up against this panel here. And you're gonna take the bolt and you're gonna come in through the back. And you're gonna put it together. Okay. And now you can go ahead and tighten this all the way down. All right. And once you have that tightened down, you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now that you have the last bracket installed, it would be a really good idea just to go through all the rest of your hardware and just make sure everything's tightened down really good and you're happy with the placement of, of the product. Um, other than that, that will complete our installation video for the rear sliding window for the 2021 to current Polaris Razor Trail and Trail S machines. If you have any more interest in our products or if you have any questions, please visit us on our website at razorbackoffroad.com. Other than that, We'll see you out on the trail.